Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, retired professor from QSAT. In this video, we are going to discuss the problems in the third module of University Examination Question Paper of KTU, which was held today, 16th of July 2021. There are two questions in module 3. The first question is, a pentagonal pyramid, 25 mm side of base, 70 mm axis, stands on HP on its base with a side of base parallel to VP. This is cut by a cutting plane which is inclined at 60 degrees to the axis, that is 30 degrees to HP, passing through a point on the axis that is 25 mm below the apex. You are asked to draw sectional plan, sectional elevation and true shape of section. First of all, I draw an XY line and draw the plan with one side DE parallel to XY line, side 25 mm. A, B, C, D, E, O, P, I have projected the elevation A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, O dash, P dash. Agreed? Then I have located a point 25 mm below the apex and through that point I have drawn a cutting blade that is making 30 degrees to HP will, will in fact make 30 degrees, 60 degrees to the axis. So this portion that is below the cutting plane is remaining and the top is removed. Agree? I am mar marking 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash and 5 dash where the cutting plane cuts the 5 slant edges of the pyramid. Agree? After that I draw sectional plan. How do I draw it? Project, project 3 dash down. Where is 3? Where is 3 dash? 3 dash is on O dash C dash. So drop C dash down to what? OC. What do I get? I get 3. 4 dash is on O dash D dash. So drop 4 dash down to OD. What do I get? I get 4. Where is 5 dash? 5 dash is on O dash E dash. This is OE. Drop 5 dash to OE. What do I get? I get 5. 1 dash is on O dash, O dash, A dash. Drop 1 dash to OA. 1. So I have got 1, 3, 4, 5. What about 2? 2 dash is on O dash, B dash. When you drop it, it coincides with OB, so the intersecting point is not obtained. What we do? Draw a horizontal line through 2 dash. And cut any other sand edge, I cut O dash C dash at 2 2 dash. If this is 2 2 dash, which is on O dash C dash, its plan is 2 2, which is obtained by dropping it down to OC. This is 2 2. Agreed? Then, it is not 22, 2 suffix 2. 2 suffix 2. two this is 2 suffix 2 with a dash. O as center, O 2 2 as radius, cut an arc. Cut an arc on OB. I get 2. Now connect 1 to 5. 5 to 4. 4 to 3. 3 to 2. And 1 to 2. Hatch this. You know hatching lines are drawn at 45 degrees to the XY line. 1 to 1.5 millimeters apart for the best appearance. 1 to 1.5 millimeters apart. Okay. This completes the sectional plan. You have drawn sectional elevation and sectional plan. Now you have to draw true shape. For that, you draw a line parallel to the cutting plane. Call it x1, y1. Then draw projectors perpendicular to x1, y1 through all these five points. 3 dash, 4 dash, 2 dash, Five dash, one dash. One is this much below x y. Take the distance and mark here. What do you get? You get one one. Two is this much below x y. Take it and mark on the projector through two. Projector through will be some of it. This is two one. Three is this much below x y. Mark it on the projector through three dash. You get. Three one. 
फोर इज दिस मच बिलो फोर वन फाइव इज दिस मच बिलो फाइव वन कनेक्ट वन टू 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 थ्री थ्री टू फोर फोर टू फाइव फाइव टू वन हाच दिस फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री इज टू दिस एक्स वन वाई वन टू एक्चुअली वी कैन very far away two will not come that far away somewhere here it will be so i am just adjusting it okay. so that this is what is called the true shape of section so what you have drawn you have drawn the elevation section elevation sectional plan and the true shape of section i hope you understood very simple question very common question also okay the second question in module 3 is a cylinder 50 mm diameter 50 mm diameter okay. 70 mm height 50 mm diameter 70 mm height Fifty mm diameter, seventy mm height, standing on its base on the ground. Standing on its base on the ground, cut by a cutting plane which passes through the center of the axis. Bisecting the axis means passing through the center of the axis, making forty degrees to HP. This is the cutting plane. This angle is forty degrees. This is the cutting plane. You are also asked to draw the development of the cylinder. What is the development of the cylinder? Development of the cylinder is a rectangle. What is its length? Length of this rectangle is length of this rectangle is pi d. Pi d. What is the easiest way of drawing it? Draw a straight line. Don't limit the length. Take this. Divide the circle into twelve equal parts and mark all the points. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K at the bottom. M, N, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z at the top. I have drawn the mark all the points in the plan and derivation. Now take this chord very carefully. Place it twelve times and wherever it ends, close it. And mark A B C D E F G H I J K L A M N Q R S T U V W X Y Z M. That is one method of doing it. The other method is take the circumference and draw a line, five centimeter diameter. Circumference will be fifteen point seven centimeters. Complete the shape rectangle. Then divide this length into twelve equal parts using the procedure of dividing a line. Time consuming. I will advise you to go for the first first option which I have given you. Okay. Then name all the points A to Z, A to L, A, M N to Z, M. Draw two circles anywhere to represent the base and the top. When you avoid these two circles, you say development of lateral surface. And if you add these two circles, we call it total development. Okay. Now this cutting. You are asked to draw the development of the cylinder after removing this part, bottom part. Removing the top, whatever is left is the bottom part. So draw the development of the lateral surface or development of the bottom portion. For that, you have to draw the total development first. Then you mark the cutting plane so that the bottom can be kept and the top can be removed. Okay. Now where are the points where the cutting plane cut the generators? One dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, five dash, six dash, seven dash, eight dash, nine dash, ten dash, eleven dash, twelve dash. Agree? Draw horizontal lines. You have to be very careful in drawing these horizontal lines. One, one, two, twelve, three, eleven, 
फोर टेन फाइव नाइन सिक्स एट सेवन कनेक्ट ऑल दिस पॉइंट्स बाय अ स्मूथ कर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व वन एग्री नाउ टू इंडिकेट दैट द टॉप पार्श पोर्शन इज रिमूव्ड एंड द बॉटम पोर्शन इज केप वी कैन डार्कन द पोर्शन बिलो द कटिंग प्लेट वी कैन डार्कन दिस लाइन्स आल्सो इफ यू वांट बट दैट इज नॉट जनरली एडवाइजेबल बिकॉज़ सच लाइन्स डू नॉट एक्जिस्ट ऑन अ सिलेंडर दोस वर्टिकल लाइन्स दिस दे आर जस्ट डू नॉट एक्जिस्ट दे आर अज्यूम देयरफॉर देयर इज नो मीनिंग इन डार्कनिंग देम बट यू कैन डार्कन द बाउंड्री darken the boundary so this is the development of the portion below the cutting plate i hope you understand so these two questions belongs to the third module in this question paper i think both questions are equally easy both questions are equally easy i hope you understand it okay i hope you must have done very well and in this problem in this problem you can give Two marks for the plan and elevation. Three marks plan and plan and elevation. Three marks for this cutting plane and the sectional plan. Two marks for the true shape, and the remaining two marks for dimensioning and neatness. Agreed. And in this case, you can give two marks for the plan and elevation. Three marks. for the development of the cylinder and the three marks for the cutting plane and showing the cutting plane in the development and the remaining two marks for dimensioning and neatness etc okay thank you